founder of Black Business Finder, and I am here here with Kyle and Christina of Somatic Health, Wealth, and Happiness. Guys, I kind of let you guys take it from here, but the first question basically is, how did you guys get started? Where did the idea of Somatic Goods come from? Well, it kind of started as a concept um, that kind of derived from a, um, a multitude of things. Okay. Um, baking, vending, experience with sales, mm -hmm. and a, a good opportunity that kind of came to us. So. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and um, it pretty much is correlated. She was on the banking end. Uh, right. I got a few friends like in in the medical marijuana industry, right. so um, it just pretty much tied together at that point. Okay. Um, shout out to D Top. Detail pie shop. Um, that's definitely one of the prime reasons we got into this market. Um, okay. Absolutely. We definitely sat down one day, had that talk where what we were bringing to the table went right in line with what they had in line. Okay. So at that point, maybe about three months later, Somatic arrived. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. So that was just pretty much the wave and uh, how everything got started. So did, did you guys present to him, or was it kind of like did he kind of give you put the bug in y'all's ear? Yeah, it was a little mutual. Um, okay. We were already doing like um, catering and okay. um, doing like dinner plates, if you will. Same type of product. <laughs> yeah, all the same type of product. Wow, yeah, okay. and the thing about it was, um, at that point, it's just like, well, let's just infuse them. You yeah, know what I mean? Right. And then um, at that point, that's when we started getting more into the research. The more of the right. health end of it, the more of the technical side of things. Okay. And, um, right. Just got more in depth with the research and studies. Uh, and this was back about 2014, 2015. Okay. It, uh, somatic, it was established. Right. That's a business at that point. Right. Mm -hmm. So you got about two, three years old now? Yeah, about yeah. three years. About, three years. Two, about yeah. almost two, almost three years now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's good. Now, is, is this like, you know, just as far as the entrepreneur side of things, is this your primary source of income? Like, are you guys still nine to five? No. I, that takes and, uh, yeah, actually, uh -huh. originally it started off, um, I, I was in graphic designs. Mm -hmm. uh, she's okay. been in the HR medical field forever. Um, awesome. She yeah. bachelor degrees, you know, so she's been utilizing that. But okay. um, yeah, originally when we first started off, we still had jobs. Uh, right now, at this current moment, mm -hmm. somatic funds completely our bills. Um, That's awesome, man. She works part time as an HR, HR rep. Yeah, yeah okay. and uh, pretty much three days a week. Mm -hmm. That's all her money. That's, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's her money there, but yeah, Somatic pretty much funds our household. It's funding what we have, and it's funding itself as well. So okay. right now, we're pretty much keeping it going, uh, the business funding itself. No doubt. I love the marketing and branding also while we on that. Thank um, you. Thank you. Yeah, no doubt. So where, where did the name come from? Well, the name, okay, so I went to Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, mm -hmm. and um, it's that's on the West Coast, and okay. it, I, I liked the whole spa industry okay. and I had a project in a particular class mm -hmm. and we had to come up with a concept of you know just elements okay. and I chose somatic which the real meaning of somatic is of the body okay. and so I just it, it <clears throat> kind of intertwined with everything that we have going on right and it it popped yeah, and it, it played popped. it actually yeah. played all two parts because um right. That was her idea of somatic, and then at the logo actually was I had a brand hippie babes. Right, because right. I was already in the marijuana brand. Yeah, so right. yeah, so right. I was in the end of I was calling it hippie babes. So this was actually the logo for hippie babes. But okay. once we got into somatic, like you say it just intertwined. It worked mm -hmm. together so well. The name, the logo, the what we stood for, and what we were trying to reach. You know the angle we were going for. So okay. it just actually worked out. And uh, from that point, once it came together, man, it's. And yeah, people loved that. it. It's right. a peace sign. Our logo is a peace exactly. sign within yeah. a heart. And yeah, it's just. That's what we stand for. Love and peace. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? We need Health, more love, of that. happiness, love and more. peace. Those are our core values. No doubt. No, no. Were you guys both in your respective businesses when you met? Or like, how, how did you guys meet? Yeah. No, yeah. Actually, young, mutual friends. And what's so okay. crazy is. uh. <clears throat> The business, her, the name Somatic, like you said, was a project in college. So she's right. been sitting and brewing on that. Right. Exactly. When you see this project, I'm talking about this spot is a full spot, <laughs> full project, man. You see it. So it's just like, plan, it was a name. It was almost like it was almost meant, though. With a mutual friend. Thank you, Ashley. Shout out, Ashley. You know, shout out. But it was a mutual Ash. friend. Uh, yeah, we met one day, man. It was, she caught, she caught. I met her at the right time. Um, I, I went through some rough times, you know what I mean? Exactly, and people wouldn't imagine what I went through uh, definitely about seven years. But like, I met her at the right time, so the timing was just perfect. 
from that point, the day we met to the next time we talked, we yeah. was inseparable. You know right, what right, I mean? Right, right. It just clicked it's from there. My partner threw in throughout. Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, it just clicked from there. Exactly. Um, so, what kind of brands do you guys offer, or, or what kind of products does Somatic offer? Well. Like I say, Somatic originally began off of the medicals. So, okay. Somatic, what we do offer, we have a holistic meds. We, we, what we pride in is quality meds with a functional dosage. Okay. You know, right, so right. we don't want you to have that experience where, because <laughs> right. you got a lot of people, I hate edibles, edibles, because what they're not realizing is the medical side of this. Right. This is actually viewed if, as more of a flavorable Vicodin, you know what I mean? Right. And, I'm, and we definitely are not the same, more of an opioid use. Right. That's a different right. type of result. Pharmaceuticals are totally different. Pharmaceuticals is not our lane. Totally. Exactly. Right. Right. Just to kind of give right. you right. a comparison of what I mean, totally. you know what I mean? So just mm -hmm. a, on a Vicodin standpoint, mm -hmm. when it's a 100 milligram Vicodin, right. we know how expensive pharmaceuticals are. True. Right. Well, we're giving you the same doses and benefits of pain relief mm -hmm. without the side effects and the issues. So okay. when you have something that's 100 milligrams, you got to kind of think of it as being like a, a Vicodin. You know what I mean? Some, right. Something of that sort. Okay. But uh, we offer different type of ways to medicate as well as uh, relieve pain. It's really what's our main focus and goal. Right. Okay. Uh, but we have things such as like uh, one of our main hits that really got people is a chocolate cup of Oreos. I can imagine. Um, we're doing <laughs> milk chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate as well. Okay. Turtles. Um, and that's what's our uh, next one will be okay. the turtles. <laughs> uh, the milk chocolate turtles, they're infused with caramel and pecans as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we go for a lot of the gourmet look and gourmet that's feel. Right. Yeah. As well as the quality right. taste, man. You know, exactly. so right. we don't want you to lose that whole... Right. But getting no, that, you know what I mean? That's right. Quality. Everything is, is handcrafted. Each hand thing we touch. Yep. Wow. Small dosage so as well. well. Yeah. So that's why expanding is kind of like, you know, we got to be careful how we proceed. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Not, no, what, you had the background as far as the baking and everything. Is that how it went? Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, can you kind of walk through the process of making a few of these goods? Like, is it, are you like literally in the kitchen making it happen? Yeah, originally it started yeah. off in small yeah. kitchen to now. Well, originally, point. let's clear it up. Right. I started from like baking. He is like the chocolate um, tier. He is like the really? master. Okay. Like see? it. See, because the baking, uh -huh. we had to kind of like scale in on what it is that we wanted to focus in on. That's right. In terms of our business, in terms of expenses, in terms of cost effectiveness, in terms of a lot of things That's when you're right. talking business wise. And so we started out really with like 10 products. Okay. And we still have, you know, a lot of these products, but we mm -hmm. kind of market some of them more than others. Totally. So the chocolate was just more of a mm -hmm. conducive um, element to what we to we have. So well, because well, of shelf life, because uh, right. our, our main goal is we're pretty much we're a vendor. We're wholesaling to dispensaries. So dispensaries right. are pretty much shelving our products to distribute to patients. Right. Mm -hmm. So what we at that point, we're looking at what's going to be the most beneficial to us financially as well as right. what can we give to the patients that's going to provide the quality right. doses and medication that they need. Right. So by having baked goods, we were losing a lot of shelf life. So a lot of times, a lot of it wasn't making it to the patients because they have to be thrown out. That's so that's right. why we move a lot. Shelf life just, yeah. yeah. And that's why when the chocolate kind of came into play and we went more towards the chocolate. Right. You know what I mean? And a lot of times, everyone loves chocolate. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't have too many allergic issues on chocolate uh -huh. the shelf life is great right. and it was easy to work with uh, it was great to infuse and it holds the, the quality in the meds right. right so uh, that was one of the main reasons we kind of went more into the chocolates we kind of mm -hmm. stray away from a lot of the baked goods like you mm -hmm. say we offer them still right, right but uh for our dispensary orders a lot of our dispensary carries a lot of our gummies chocolates our right. drinks and suckers okay right. sounds yeah. good um what is your top requested item well, you know what, what's the top seller and it really depends on what market we're talking. If we're talking dispensaries, it'd probably be right. gummies or um, right. yeah. just pop them, kind of. Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oreos. If we're talking like our <clears throat> sciatica patients, our diabetes patients, our you know, mm -hmm. that's gonna be more of like, I guess your turtles and your your yeah. chocolate, more of the chocolate. For example, we have a W uh, okay. Yeah, She's awesome, very intelligent woman, very right. smart. She actually was on a lot of pain meds and she's actually converted over to our turtles. She lives yeah. by our turtles. I mean, wow. we see her weekly, you know what I mean? A great, one of our great patients, like I said, she's very knowledgeable. Okay. Um, but yeah, she lives by our turtles. So I would yeah. say that's one of the uh, top requests uh -huh. on the patient end, because we do have patients that we care for directly as well. Right. right. So, uh, but on the dispensary mm -hmm. end, I would say gummies, Oreos would probably be our yeah. okay. hot items. Yeah. All right. Or, so. They're cinnamon roasted cashews. Yes, I was a lot of people. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, they, yeah. they definitely. 
forgot. I was yeah. slipping on that. So, uh, I was doing my research and again, I love you guys as marketing and branding. Uh, but I saw the shirt. Are you on our nuts? Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome, though. So, so whose yes. idea was that? How did, how did that come? And you know, it was a scary idea because I, I was yes, hoping people right. would take it the wrong way. Right. You know? We didn't because... want to offend anybody. We yeah. just want to just be fun and try to try uh-huh. to bring exposure at a different level and just kind of you know play with it. And we, and we really are goofy at heart. You know, what I mean, a lot of times people <laughs> see the persona and they see the picture. I guess I mean I don't know what it is. If it's maybe a, a serious look yeah. or a come up, but. Yeah. Most of the time, you come talk to us, man, we genuine, we happy. Yeah, I've, I've we, experienced that already. Yeah, yeah. that's good. I, I'm glad you heard that. I mean, you said that. but yeah. uh, The On The Nuts really came from a couple people saying, yeah, I was on the nuts. Yeah, like, oh, man, yeah, what the nuts? Yeah, I, was, I, was I was on the nuts, nuts bro. <laughs> I was on the <laughs> nuts last night, man. You know what? Right. Maybe we should tell we them. We ran with I'm that. On Are you on our nuts? <laughs> Everybody kept hitting us with me. I was on the nuts. I was on the nuts last night. I was on the nuts. I slept really well on those nuts. All right, right. People tell me sometimes, you know, your products made me feel motivated. Yeah. It made me want to get up and yeah. want to do yeah, things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all could even put like little quotes that people have said on the nut package and like, yeah, I slept on those nuts. I don't know. Oh, hey, that's I right, appreciate yeah. that. We have no, no, wrong yeah. with that. That's yeah. what we gotta that's do. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. I appreciate that. Right. That's dope. Now, uh, in the gold package, and also I commend y'all for that. I think that's awesome. Uh, how did y'all choose that? Like, was that just. That was some. You know, and you know what? I, I'm gonna be completely honest. Right, okay. America and the world might be a little right. upset with me. You okay. know what right, I mean? Right, but right. It was, we was doing studies. I was watching. Uh, I'm, I'm a news head. I'm a, I'm a news yes. buff. I'm a TV. I'm a, okay. I know people say TV don't educate you, but it, it makes you aware. Yeah. It gets you it aware of things that are going on. I'm say, conscious. Yeah, yeah, I know what's going on. You That's know right. what I mean? But uh, one day they were talking about uh, Donald Trump. Okay. Just uh, how serious, how gold is to Trump. How, how, okay. how dominant that color is. Yes. How... When you see that color, it's gonna make an impact. It's an impactful color. Yes. It's a uh, how he changed the drapes in the White House Oval Office to go. Wow. You know what I mean? Okay. So right, right. it was a certain things that uh, and even before, like I said, cause this we they've been gold for years now. But right, right, right. even before he got into office, but just that gold, the whole Trump Towers, right. you know, out in Vegas when you. Even though he's not on the side of the strip, yeah, exactly. you still see the Trump Tower. Yeah. So Go has just always been a, a popper to us, and it was just okay. as soon as it's we like had to a, jump on it for everybody else. A symbolization I mean. for like being regal or being uh-huh. royalty or yep. just yeah. wanting to stand out. And, and, and then just want to be a part of quality gold is what I associate quality. gold with. Right. And from my Richness. knowledge, and from my knowledge, what I think a lot of our people. From the Egyptian, you know what I mean. That's what I think about too. You know what I mean. So even if it's subconscious, subconscious, just a natural attraction to to, royalty. Royalty, exactly. Um, Can you guys? Can you maybe like, without disclosing any recipes or the real formula, can you kind of walk us through a process and maybe making the nuts or the the gummies? Yeah. um, Well, say for instance with a turtle. Um, depending on the size of the mold or how you're doing it. Um, okay. Everything has to be dosage out. So depending on how many milligrams you're, in, you're infusing right. will depend on how many uh, items you'll yield. Got so um, say for instance, if you have something that's 600 milligrams, mm-hmm. my math might be a little off. It's all right. But, uh, you, right you know what I mean? Uh, <clears throat> say if you're trying to get 60 milligram items, mm-hmm. you'll get about that. Depending Ten items, on, depending right. on what the product you know what I mean? is, because each product yields, each batch yields a certain amount of um, items. Okay. So right, like right. suckers might yield about twenty five, whereas uh, brownies may yield t- twelve. Or twelve. Okay. Right. So, so your dosage in your milligrams may be different, right. and that's right. that's, right. The you, that's the reason why you exactly. That's the reason why you definitely got to make sure you're on top of your testing. Um, okay. You want to make sure okay. you're testing your products before you infuse, infusing and after you infuse, so that way you okay. get accuracy. accuracy. You know what I mean? Right. And that's the main thing because uh, we're getting towards regulations. See, right now mm-hmm. is the forefront of everything. There's no really no guidelines, rules, regulations. So right. you kind of want to make sure you kind of don't want to go too far in the other direction, and they say we going this way with it. Right. So you're kind of teetering yourself in the middle right now. Make yeah. sure you plan the same. Want to be in the middle of the spectrum. Yeah, be in the middle of the spectrum. Yeah. Spectrum, yeah. For exactly. Sure. Leave yourself some some wiggle room, kind Absolutely. of so to speak. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and I see that y'all are really like in the health and wellness. I saw some pictures like where y'all had the fruit and stuff. Like, do y'all do y'all do juicing? And do y'all do that or? That's actually on a personal level, but we're right, right, we're yeah. trying to get into see once we get into the okay. point of we know how everything is gonna be regulated and controlled, we have right. ideas of the 
Oh, I, you know what I mean? Right, so, right. And, and it really is, it takes money to make money. So yeah. we, we are not one of those highly funded finance businesses that can just go do this, this, and that here. Right. We actually, it's me and her. Right. Ground up, grinding. Right. Everything we make goes back either to the business or bills. Right. So, you know what I mean? It's really not like uh, we have time to do the extra. But, uh-huh. yeah, juicing, we, we definitely are getting more into the holistic health, eating clean, right. taking care of your Absolutely. body, living longer. You know what I mean? But yeah. We definitely want to get more into the juicing because you can't infuse juicing. Okay, you right. can't have the medicated juicing. That. You okay. can't do that. You know what I mean? We have ways of doing it. It's just, cool. you know, we're trying to get around to it and see how regulations and things go. That's right.